The passport applicants have responded to the recent fee hikes with mixed feelings. While some argue that the amount is affordable, others believe it is rather high. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration raised the passport application fees by 400% to align with those in the West African sub-region starting 1st April 2024. Now, applicants emphasize the need for improved service delivery to eliminate all bottlenecks. Fred Duho has more on the following report. Hundreds of passport applicants have trooped to the passport offices across the entire country to apply for the basic document for traveling. Uh, they may use it for other identification purposes, but the sole purpose for the passport has been for traveling. Over the period, they've paid 100 to about 150 Ghana cities for application of this passport. Suddenly, the passport office has increased the amount to 500 Ghana cities. And this, we are here to engage the thoughts of a number of applicants that you see right behind us doing or going through the application process. Here are the application centre within Accra. I think 500 Ghana is okay because people have been taking millions of cities for visas and tickets. So if you are charging 500 for the passport, I don't see it too much. Some would hold a view that for, from 100 to 500 is quite a, a steep jump. What do you make of that? Actually, I would say it's a 400% increase. Mm -hmm. But personally, some people would just think it's too much. But personally, for me, I would say even the Golo boys are taking more than that. I've already, I've already paid for my before that increment. But you see, if we're in the country and there's the, the, so much poverty and you are doing increment, and you don't think about the percentage, I don't think it's fair, right? In it, that regard, what percentage would have been fair? We are to your Ghanaian. <laughs> you have to ask yourself how much should I be? Maybe fifty percent, thirty percent. I did online, so we paid um, hundred CDs. Okay. Now that one hundred CDs one, I presume is the standard passport, which is thirty-two leaflets. Uh, that is, has been increased to five hundred Ghana CDs henceforth. What do you make of that jump? <laughs> To me, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much, and I don't know why it should go high like that. If anything at all, maybe 150 or 200 is okay, but the 500 is too much. If only they can really uh, make the make improvement in the services, then I think it's better. The Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Kweku Amprichum Sapon, has justified reasons for the price hike in passport acquisition. He noted that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs needs those monies to be able to break even and as well procure certain equipments that will expedite the printing of passports for those who need it. Ideally, the fee that we are asking them to pay is not any extraordinary fee. In the sense that that's the production cost. When you go to market to buy something, you pay not a subsidized product. You pay the market price or a sustainable price. The market price for the passport is 400 Ghana cities. Because that is how much it costs to produce it. So that is the, 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 the production cost. That's the market price. That's what you should be paying. Not the 100 cities that we have been charging. And the government subsidizing, finding money from somewhere to come and argument the 100 that you are paying to make it the 400, which is the production cost. Over the years, over the years in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs yes. budget statement, we've not seen a line item of no, subsidies no. in, in this no, regard. No, there's not. So basically what is happening is Managed to run this main ministry has been diverted over the years to supplement the production of passports. He made the point that there is not going to be any further increment for the cheap embedded passport as it will be ruled out by September this year. Somewhere in September, October, we should rule out that new cheap embedded, right? In fact, we are a little bit late, to be quite honest with you. We are a little bit late on the cheap embedded, the rolling out of the cheap embedded. The, 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 the starting point has changed and changed and changed and moved on. Now, we have to put everything in together as a package, take everything on board. 
not increase it now, then tomorrow this, then the next day that, then the next day that, because for 10 years, we have not been able to increase passport fees. And they just look at that. Figures 10 years ago and today. Are we serious? Meanwhile, the ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee in Parliament, Samuel Okujetu Ablakwa, has been reacting to all these price hikes in passport acquisition. I would like to appeal to the Foreign Minister to, as a matter of urgency, review these rates. They are draconian, they are obnoxious, they are unconscionable. It is totally out of place. Look at the cost of living crisis we have now. I mean, see what Ghanaians are going through. For the first time in our history, we are being compelled to undergo a domestic debt exchange. I mean, the, the harsh economic conditions, we should rather be thinking about how we cushion the vulnerable. And then in the future, even when we have recovered economically and you want to go back to this matter, I will recommend strongly that we must always protect the vulnerable category. Those who apply for ordinary passports, you know, who can't afford the VIP services, the premium services, as the dieted services, let's make sure that we protect them. Passport has largely been an, a very important document in the life of almost every Ghanaian. They need it for varied reasons, but the primary reason has always been to travel out of this country. My name is Fred Duho reporting from the passport office here in Accra for City News.